Hey guys, Solar here, and today I actually want to show you guys how to install Trove mods. Uh, this is basically just for Steam only. We're not going to Trove a Sword or like that because a lot of people play on Steam, so I think this is the best and definitely the safest, easiest route for any new player or any in-game player, anything like that, to get your mods that you want without the risk of downloading something else, which, don't get me wrong, Trove Source is definitely trusted. I've used it before, I've never had a problem with it, but this is just for Steam only, guys. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go over to the Steam website, uh, you will see the community tab at the very top. You're gonna like click on it, and it's gonna scroll down, you're gonna see Workshop. What you're gonna do is click Workshop. It's gonna bring you to this place here, uh, and you're gonna see the search bar. You're gonna wanna type in Trove, and this is gonna bring you to all the Trove uh, mods. From here, you can see that you can click on the most popular, top rated, all this stuff, and you can kind of find what you're looking for. Once you scroll to here and you find any kind of mod you might want, and like the most most sub one is probably the best tab to go under, if you, especially if you don't know what you're looking for, go under the most uh, sub tab, and it's gonna bring up like the top mods that everyone uses. I mean, there's a bunch of them that we use. Everyone has their own personal preference what they use, but that one's a good little list for you. Uh, once you do find it, you're going to see a little green button that says subscribe underneath it, underneath the mod. All you got to do is subscribe to that, guys, restart your trove, and it's installed. Now, keep in mind, some mods do um, collide with others. It is rare, but they, they usually do say in there, and it'll give you a little uh, exclamation point or caution or something like that showing that, hey, this is something's colliding this, and it'll tell you exactly what's doing it. So it's really easy to figure out, guys. So that's a quick recap. All you're gonna do is go over here to the workshop. You're gonna find your mod. You're gonna see the little green button underneath. You're gonna click on it. It's automatically installed. That's all you have to do. Once you're in game, you're gonna push escape. You're gonna see the, the mods underneath and click mods and it's gonna list every mod that you have. And you're gonna see an enable and disable button. So if some mods say, say okay, I only like this for certain occasions, you can turn it on. You can turn it off at any time. It's pretty simple, guys. This is useful. There's a couple mods that you can uh, make it look better, like make the mod stuff look better. But anyways, that is just personal preference. You don't have to get stuff like that. A lot of people don't even know about that. Uh, other than that, guys, just make sure you guys take a real good look at the mod you're trying to get, especially for costumes. A lot of the costumes like require like certain pieces of gear that might look funny to somebody else that doesn't have that mod on, but to you, the costume shows up. So make sure you guys just go over that stuff, guys. If not, you're gonna be all confused and the mod's not gonna work right because you're missing pieces. It's simple, guys. Anyways, if you did find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.